hesitation on the shot. Miz Rogers feeling it. Make wow. it three for three. And see you Lino. See you later. Here's a chance for Sayas, and there's a shot and a goal. Will Spare will take it all the way. Touchdown, Seahawks. The extra look and the goal. A gorgeous goal by him. Welcome to a jam-packed St. Francis Prep on Francis Lewis Boulevard where tonight the Varsity Media Sports Network presents the latest installment of the Battle of the Boulevard featuring the Knights of Holy Cross and the Terriers of St. Francis Prep. Good evening everyone, Dylan Butler here with you on the Varsity Media Sports Network. So thankful you are able to join us here for what is always a special contest featuring the rival teams not separated by a lot of Francis Lewis Boulevard. You figure it's about two miles or so separating the two schools. Uh, always an entertaining showdown. This time it's a little bit of a different kind of a matchup where Holy Cross comes into this one with a 4-16 and 16 record overall. 0 oh, and 14 in Brooklyn Queens Double A, so they're a team certainly looking to uh, push themselves up in the standings. And speaking to their head coach Ray Cullen, and he said, "Listen, the regular season, as there you see our standings, doesn't mean a lot. You know, where everyone's going to be in the postseason, it's all about sort of positioning yourself and getting hot at the right time. That's what Holy Cross wants to do. St. Francis Prep, you see them at the very top, 16 and 2, 12 and 1." They had an 11-game winning streak snapped in their last game, a loss at Christ the King. But really the signature win for head coach Jimmy Lynch in his fifth year was that victory on Sunday against Cardinal Hayes. A huge win here at home for St. Francis Prep, a win that really kind of solidified themselves as one of the favorites in the Catholic High School League this year. It's going to be St. Francis Prep, you figure Archbishop Stepanak and, of course, Cardinal Hayes as well. It is senior night here at St. Francis Prep. You see some of the parents and seniors making their way out. It is a strong group of seniors, and really when we speak to head coach Jimmy Lynch, he said it's a group that really was together, certainly a threesome of Latique Briscoe, uh, as well as Chance Morish and uh, Daughtry. Th th that trio were together on a very good freshman team three years ago, and it kind of led them now to uh, becoming this elite team in the Catholic High School League, and uh, it's not a surprise for the Terriers. They kind of expected to be here, and uh, Jaden Daughtry was a third member of that group. Uh, they expected to be competitive. Maybe more wins than they probably thought coming in, but uh, it's been a fun year for the Terriers. And when you speak to Jimmy Lynch, again, their head coach, he says the buzz has been unbelievable among the alums inside the school. Uh, a lot of excitement here at St. Francis Prep. We'll take a look at the impact players for this game. First for the visitors from Holy Cross and their guy is a guy that we've seen a lot of during the football season we uh, did a Holy Cross regular season game we did the senior bowl as well and this guy was all over it on the gridiron and he's also having a huge impact on the basketball court as well that's number one Devin Grant his future is on the gridiron going to play football at Buffalo but he's faster and he jumps higher than just about anyone on this team. You see the size, six foot four, averaging 20.3 points a game. We'll show the graphic later on, but he's among the leading scorers in the entire Catholic League. And that's, again, a testament to his incredible athleticism, Devin Grant. And it's not even his main sport. So uh, look out for Grant if Holy Cross is to pull the upset or certainly be competitive. Devin Grant is going to have a huge part in that. For St. Francis Prep, we could have kind of gone a couple of different ways with our player to watch because, again, it's been such a balanced team. But we're going to go with number one, Latique Briscoe. This was their game against Cardinal Hayes. You see Briscoe, the 6'2 senior. He's had a phenomenal last two to three weeks. 
He's averaging 20 points a game and some very big wins. Just a freak athlete. Has an offer from St. Rose. A few other D2s as well coming in. No D1 looks just or interest just yet. But Jimmy Lynch, the head coach, thinks that is going to come soon for the six foot two senior. We'll take a look at the starting lineups now for both sides as senior night ceremonies continue here at St. Francis Prep. First for the visitors from Holy Cross. We'll pull them up when we get the moment. Tyler Castro was a guy that we weren't sure we would see. Had an MRI on his knee. He's good enough to go. Anthony Russo is a guy who has unlimited range. Ashton Taft, Christina, Tafari Plummer, and Devin Grant. All of those guys uh, will be huge for the Knights of Holy Cross. Again, coached by Ray Cullinan in his third season out of St. Joe's Collegiate. A 1992 grad, so he's up from the Buffalo area, played his basketball at SUNY Potsdam, coached for a few years there, and in 18 years at Holy Cross has really kind of worked his way through the system. Varsity B, there you see Ray, Varsity B, freshman, JV. Now he is the head varsity coach in his third season at the helm. For St. Francis Prep, the starters will be a little bit different than we've seen before, and that's because of this senior night ceremony. So it's going to be a senior heavy lineup, not their usual five that they'll go with. A nice setting here is Chance Morish. He's a guy who broke his wrist in the last Holy Cross game, the away game, on a foul, had an MRI Thursday. Lynch was hoping that Marsh would be well enough to be able to play in the postseason but he'll get the start he won't see a lot of time he'll be out of there pretty quickly you see Jesse Killian as well Marco Battaglia his dad is right on the court right now 1991 grad former Rutgers star Bengals as well you know who he's rooting for in the Super Bowl as well Jaden Daughtry is really kind of Daughtry and Marsh are the regular starters of this group Gavin Buchanan also getting a chance a football player there as well playing basketball for head coach Jimmy Lynch. What a story Jimmy Lynch has been. His fifth year at the helm a 1999 graduate of St. Francis Prep. Lynch was on the JV when a guy named Drew Samuels last led the varsity. There you see Jimmy to the AA championship. That was when St. Francis Prep in 1997 lost to a guy named Ron Artest and LaSalle in that city championship game, but uh, really credits Tim Leary, the great former head coach, the uh, legendary late Tim Leary. Lynch says, look, when I was a young kid, Leary allowed me to coach the freshman team, make some mistakes, figure th some things out. Then he got upgraded to JV. Then he was on the varsity staff as the associate head coach. So uh, said he did a ton of stuff for me. Uh, to help lead me to where we are now. And uh, where St. Francis Prep is now is, again, as one of the favorites in the Catholic League. It's a, it's a situation that certainly Lynch said is cool, but one that they're not looking past their latest opponent because you really can't in this league, of course. You, you can lose on any given night, and especially winning on the road is so difficult. Again, they had their 11-game winning streak snapped on the road at Christ the King on Tuesday. In that game, Latique Briscoe had 15 points, 5 assists. Jaden Daughtry, 11 points, 9 rebounds, 5 assists. Josh Pascarelli, he's a guy we'll talk a lot about today, just not in the starting lineup again because he is a junior, but he has a College of St. Rose offer. He had 15 points and 4 rebounds in that game. First time these two teams played Back on January 30th, not that long ago, St. Francis Prep picked up a 76-30 to win on the road. And again, road here just means a couple of traffic lights. You cross over Northern Boulevard and you're over at your rival gym. Again, about two miles or so separating these two schools. 
Briscoe, a huge game in that one. 30 points, 7 rebounds. Daughtry, 15 points, 11 rebounds, and 5 steals. And Veer Anthony, he's a guy we'll talk a lot about too. The freshman point guard, the engine of this team, had 12 points, 5 assists, and 4 rebounds in that road loss. St. Francis Prep, this is a big one for them, but they've got another big one as well coming up on the road. Here's their upcoming schedule. The Terriers go Saturday, Sunday for a couple of non-league games. Epic South and then Bryant out of the PSAL. And there's that big one Tuesday at Stepanak. And again, when you look at the hierarchy in the Catholic League this year, it's Cardinal Hayes, Stepanak, St. Francis Prep in no order right now. Again, if you think Cardinal Hayes is the favorite, well, St. Francis Prep beat them. Stepanak and Cardinal Hayes split their games. And St. Francis Prep obviously yet to take on Stepanak. That will come on Tuesday. Holy Cross finishes their regular season at home against Bishop Lockett. And again, it's been a struggle for Holy Cross, but Cullinan said, you know, listen, it's all about just sort of playing well, getting into a rhythm, going into the postseason. They, they know they're playing in the Brooklyn Queens. They know they're in the, in the intersectional playoffs. So it's just about getting hot at the right time. And listen, a win at St. Francis Prep would certainly do the visitors from Holy Cross wonders. We'll take a quick break. We'll have the starting tip for this one. You're watching the latest installment of the Battle of the Boulevard right here on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Varsity Media is the tri-state area sports leader. We offer an array of services for any team, coach, player, athletic director, and parent. From game film to live streaming, we are available to cover your event anytime, any place. Looking for an enhanced experience? How about a professional broadcast with multiple camera angles, announcers, graphics, and instant replay? Need a highlight reel? We produce individual highlights for college recruiting and team highlight videos for end of season banquets. And when it comes to social media, nobody has you covered better than us. Hype videos, sideline highlights. We can tailor custom videos to make your team stand out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Why waste your time dealing with anyone else? When it comes to sports video, Varsity Media stands alone. Contact us at 516. 403-2050 or online at varsitymedia.net Welcome back to St. Francis Prep. Dylan Butler here with you on the Varsity Media Sports Network. A packed house at St. Francis Prep which is one of the things that makes Friday nights in the Catholic League really so special a great atmosphere on any Friday night but a little bit special when these two rivals come into play we've mentioned a few times there's about two miles of a difference between these two sides we're not even joking we're, we're, we're gonna pull out the Google map here for you and show you just how close these two are now Queens traffic being what it is you know it might take you still 15 minutes to get from Holy Cross to St. Francis Prep but this is kind of what it looks like one point, was it 2.5 miles? So 13 minutes. That was earlier today. It might be a little bit longer here, about right, right about now. But you see, you cross right over Northern Boulevard. You get over to St. Francis. You get over to Holy Cross. Uh, always fun when these two teams play. We're going to go to the court now for the national anthem, which will be sung on the court.
All right, terrific stuff for the anthem. Just about set. We'll do the code of conduct. And then we'll be just about set for the opening tip here between Holy Cross and St. Francis Prep. Terriers off that win over Cardinal Hayes. They've hit the national rankings. Number 29 in the Fab 50. Number 32 by Max Preps. And they are number one in New York State by the New York Sports Riders. And again, it's all about this incredible season the Terriers are having. And when we spoke to Lynch just about the buzz, he said it's been cool and Listen, he's been here for some of the lean years where the team has struggled, and he said this year we're just, it's really having a great year, but for us it's just going so fast. You don't have the time to stop and to think and to sort of maybe even appreciate it, right, because it's on to the next game. But he said it's been really cool to have the alums come back and they come to the games. He said his phone has been blowing up. They're always uh, checking on the team. They want to see how the team's doing. And, of course, you know, they're disappointed when they lose. So he joked after that loss, which was only a three-point loss at Christ the King on Tuesday. He said, listen, Rome is already burning. <laughs> so, uh, and, of course, it would be even worse. I think Lynch would turn his phone off if you lose this game. There you see the starters again with uh, these guys being introduced to the crowd here, the oversized crowd. You see Anthony Russo checking in. Castro's a big one for them. He's the starting point guard. Again, he had that MRI in his knee on Wednesday after he injured it late in the fourth quarter against St. Ray's. So that was a concern for Cullinan, but was able to get uh, some good information on Castro, the junior, uh, to make sure that he is good to go. And again, a special senior night starting lineup for St. Francis Prep. When you talk kind of about their regular starters, it's Anthony, Briscoe, Daughtry, Michelle, and Pascarelli. There you see Gavin Buchanan, football player. Really hasn't been involved in the program the last few years, but he was on this team because he's a high-character kid. There's Jesse Killian, a kid who was at, Saint, was at Christ the King. Last year, St. Francis Prep, Christ the King. Back here at Prep, there's Marco Battaglia. As well, another guy, high energy, could shoot the, shoot the ball as well. Jaden Daughtry, 12.2 points a game. The senior wing, 6'6". Six, six. A little bit of that Swiss Army knife. And this is special right here, Chance Marsh. You can see his right arm still in a cast from breaking that wrist against Holy Cross. Largely symbolic to see Marsh in the starting lineup again because it is senior night. So we'll see number four. He'll be out there for the tip, but pretty much as soon as the first whistle is blown, he'll come out and the Latik Briscoe will come in. The referees for tonight's game, Arnold Saunders, Tommy St. John, and Anthony Calise. We thank you again for joining us on the Varsity Media Sports Network. The Battle of the Boulevard, it's always special when Holy Cross and St. Francis play, and tonight is another one of those occasions. It's Daughtry and Grant, and this again will be a largely symbolic one. Marsh will be called for the travel. He'll come out, he'll hear a large ovation from the crowd, and now Latik Briscoe will come in. So we won't see Marsh again and again, if this was not senior night, if it wasn't the special occasion that it is, then Marsh would not have been on the court. There is a possibility still. Lynch was hoping for some good news that Marsh might be available for the postseason. We'll see if that comes to fruition. Fake three. Top of the key is Grant. Grant guarded by Battaglia. It takes him to the hole. Too high. Off the glass. Rebound by Killian. Killian harassed by Grant, gets it right back, top of the key, bounce pass, you see Holy Cross in a 2-3 zone, nice switch, shot put up, off the rim, no good by Buchanan, and now the Knights look to push, but Buchanan gets the steal, in transition, faked by Briscoe and pulls it back out to Daughtry again, the Swiss Army knife is Jaden Daughtry, and it's good when you can have a guy at 6'6", who could do a little bit of everything for you. 
Buchanan flashes to the foul line. It's Daughtry for three. That's good. First basket of the game goes to Jade and Daughtry, and St. Francis Prep jumps out to the early 3-0 lead. Prep in a man-to-man -man defense. Here's Russo, who's got unlimited range. Plummer drives, kicks it in the corner. Penetration there by Tate Christina, and he will get two. Terriers look to push now, and it's Briscoe handing off. Again, these are some players, not that guy, but some who don't see a lot of time. Kind of limited minutes, but again, senior night, so you give them some extra run. And Daughtry is called for the offensive foul, the charge underneath. So it's his first and the team's first. And we have those substitutions to bring in kind of your more regular lineup for St. Francis Prep. So you have got five, Josh Pascarelli, Tyler Michelle, who's come in for Marish. And I think you've got Veer Anthony as well. You do 21. So that's this is your five without the injury, of course, to Marsh. Marsh would have been part of that regular five. There's a cut inside. Ball knocked away. Now the Terriers look to push. Pascarelli drives, kicks it. Extra pass and an extra step as well for Tyler Michelle, the sophomore. First year on varsity. And again, think, think about this. The COVID year that it was a year ago, there is no freshman ball. So Michelle, this is his first opportunity to play on the high school level. So he had limited minutes early, but they've drastically increased when Morish picked up that injury. Spinning shot by Castro in and out. Tap put back was no good by Plummer. And we go the other way. Dribble penetration. Michelle goes into the lane. No good. The extra opportunity by Daughtry. He steps out and will be Holy Cross ball. 3-2 early on. Five minutes and 30 seconds left in this first quarter. Dylan Butler here on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Devin Grant hands off to Tate Christina. Grant gets it back. Puts up the jumper. No good. Crashing for the rebound was Gio Germain. We go the other way. Let's see Briscoe, the lefty layup. No good, but he is fouled on his way up. Foul was on Tate Christina. It's his first and the team's first, so it'll send Briscoe to the line to shoot two. Lynch mentioned of Briscoe, and really it kind of is true of a lot of his guys, kind of wishes that his recruitment was a little bit higher than it is right now. Deserves more opportunities from the college level. Knocks down both free throws. Does have that College of St. Rose offer. A few other D2s coming around as well, but he's still hoping for that D1. So is Daughtry as well. Here is Grant driving off the back iron. No good. Daughtry comes down with the rebound. Kicks it ahead to the freshman. Anthony pulls up inside the arc. No good. We go the other way. Plummer hands off. Grant is so dangerous. Misses the dunk. We go the other way, and it's a little bit helter-skelter right now in this rivalry game. That ball goes out. Grant, I thought, was a little bit lucky to not get a tech. Looks like he hung on to the rim a little bit, maybe even trying to tap his own missed Duncan. But the officials let them play. Plummer guarded out there by Daughtry. The Euro step, back iron, two bounces, no good. And Daughtry, another rebound for the Terriers. Briscoe again to the hole. He gets two more. Four early on for Briscoe. He extends the St. Francis Prep lead to 7-2. Russo hands off to Grant. There is Castro with Anthony on him. He tries to work off the Grant screen. Maybe a little pick and pop. No, into the lane. And the charge is called. Here you see the replay. 
Terriers get it out in transition. And Briscoe finishes well with the left. So another mix up or a little change a little bit in the look defensively. Here's Anthony, 4-3. Front rim, no good. Look at Daughtry, sky up there. Can't get the bunny inside. And now the Knights look to push. They don't want to get into a track meet, but that's the guy they want to get the ball in his hands. He's got unlimited range. Jump ball is called. Possession stays with Holy Cross. That's Castro. There's two Castros. Remarkably, both juniors, both not related. Not cousins, not brothers, nothing. <laughs> so we'll still have to mention both names because there are two Castros on the roster. There's Russo for three. That's good. And again, Russo will pull up from anywhere. Pretty much anywhere on Francis Lewis Boulevard is within... Anthony Russo's range, a guy who's really made a huge jump these last couple of years. Floater in the lane, no good. Michelle can't get the put back. And another charge. The third called in this first quarter. And this one goes against Pascarelli. It is his first. The alternate possession will give Holy Cross the basketball, 2.57 left in an entertaining and high-paced, albeit a little bit of a sloppy first quarter. 7-5 is the score. There's Tyler Castro, 13.7 points a game. Hands off to Russo. This time guarded really closely by Pascarelli. Pascarelli all in his grill. And he gets the five-second violation. What a great job defensively by Josh Pascarelli. Generally, be because of St. Francis Prep lack of size, he's forced to sort of defend against a lot of the bigger guys. Kick out from Michelle to Anthony. To Daughtry buries that shot two triples in this quarter for Jaden Daughtry and the lead is five Castro struggling stolen by Michelle the Terriers look to push Briscoe layup no good Castro to Grant open floor intercepted that's usually Grant's job on the football field interceptions end to end the dunk by Daughtry. And Grant the other way. Foul on his way up. How about Jaden Daughtry? Take a look again. We will go end to end. The takeoff and the flush gets this crowd buzzing. He also picked up his second foul on the other side, sending Devin Grant to the foul line. It also will likely send him to the bench with his two early fouls. Grant knocks down the first. Heo Chen, the freshman, checks in for St. Francis Prep. Grant buries the second as well. Two made free throws. And Chen, another freshman. So this is remarkable for St. Francis Prep. You've got two freshmen on the court. And Michelle is a sophomore. Ooh, a little miscommunication there. Briscoe tracks it down, but it will be an over and back. So some miscommunication there between Anthony and Briscoe. Results in the turnover pretty much right in front of us. Trayvon Shaw hands off to Castro. There is not a seat to be had, and a lot of them were gobbled up early in the day. Another triple 
by Anthony Russo, his second of this first quarter. It is a two-point game. Anthony struggles with the handle. Goes alley -oop. Briscoe can't knock it down. But he is fouled on his way up. Cha was called for the push. So this will send Briscoe to the line. He's already knocked down his first two free throws. Checks his hands, makes sure that he's all right. One thing you learn at an early age in the Battle of the Boulevard, there's no easy paths to the basket. And most cases, when you go to the line, it's because you've been heart fouled hard. Second free throw is good. Already six for Briscoe. It'll be a 30-second timeout for St. Francis Prep, so we'll keep it right here. When we talked to Lynch, the St. Francis Prep head coach, talked about the keys to this one. Said, we've got to play at our pace. We want to push the tempo. We want to get up and down the floor. He said, Holy Cross is going to try to slow us down a little bit. Last time they played some man and some zone. They mixed it up. We've got to handle the zone well. And even if it's an off shooting night, we have to get to the glass as well as the foul line a little bit more than we did at Holy Cross on January 30th. We have to defend. He said, here's a key. He said, if Holy Cross scores 70 points, we don't deserve to win this game. So it's all about the defensive effort, which has been a collective assignment this year for St. Francis Prep and has been one that uh, they really have done well. Off the timeout as we approach the final minute of this first quarter. Here's Castro. Briscoe defending Grant. Dribble penetration. Foul called. Which way will they go? Another charge. I'm not sure I've seen this many charges in a first quarter, certainly this year. For Cha, that is his second. And you see Holy Cross picking up full court now. So another interesting wrinkle. Anthony, though, is unguarded, so he'll get across. And right now they're looking to seal off Pascarelli. Chen for three, no good. And we go the other way. Grant draws the contact, still gets through. No good, gets his own rebound. And another chance at it, can't get them to fall. Anthony pushes it ahead to Pascarelli, saves it for Briscoe, who gets the layup. Eight first quarter points for Briscoe, who averages 17 a game. Foul line jumper by Grant. Back iron, no good. And now the Terriers can take the last shot of the first quarter. They'll push, though. Underneath, Chen, though, is called for the traveling violation. Back in for St. Francis Prep is Killian, as well as Battaglia. To the bench is Anthony and Pascarelli. Driving, there's the kick. A three-point shot blocked by Chen. Bruce was taking it, but Chen said not tonight. And that does it for an entertaining opening eight minutes. St. Francis Prep with a 16-10 to 10 lead. It's the Battle of the Boulevard, and it's live right here on the Varsity Media Sports Network. St. Francis Prep prepares young men and women for the world of tomorrow by immersing them in the Franciscan tradition's four golden links, intellectual, social, spiritual, and physical. Facilities that are second to none. Teachers who instruct and inspire. Values of peace, love, and respect for the individual, community, and environment. High school is four years. St. Francis Prep is forever.
Welcome back to St. Francis Prep. Dylan Butler here, Varsity Media Sports Network. Eight minutes played, and it's a six-point lead for the host Terriers in an absolutely jam-packed gym. I'm, I'm scanning around. There is not. There you see the one side. There's a side behind us. There is not a seat to be had. There's people standing on both baselines. We've got the best seat in the house, of course. Thanks maybe to having some connections, I suppose, but uh, it's always entertaining here at St. Francis Prep, and a lot of change as well. We'll speak with their principal, Pat McLaughlin, at halftime as Anthony attacks the rim. No good. Killian turns around. No good. And Grant will come the other way. Stolen by Briscoe, and then Grant is called for the foul. Good sportsmanship by Devin Grant picking up Briscoe and the two rival ones share a little tap as Grant's first and the team's fourth to clean up the wet spot on the baseline as Briscoe will look to inbound and interesting here again they seal off Pascarelli they allow Anthony to pass midcourt unfettered Stolen by Castro. They'll go the other way. Good job by Killian to track from behind to get a piece. Listen, you know it's a big game too. In that corner there with the St. Francis Prep gray sweater or sweatshirt, that's the football coach. He can't even get a seat. Look at a dunk. Pascarelli throws it down. And the Terriers' lead is eight. That's how dangerous St. Francis Prep is in transition. This guy's pretty dangerous too when he gets in the open core. Double team by Chen. Missed. And now the Terriers look to push. Anthony lowers the shoulder. Hits the deck. Jumper off the mark. Back out. Briscoe fakes three. Now he takes it. No good. Chen the rebound. Knocked away, and Bruce recovers for Holy Cross. Battle for the loose ball. Here we see again, watch in transition, Pascarelli. 6-1 junior with the flush. How about this? He had a great game against Cardinal Hayes, and immediately after that win... He picks up an offer from the College of St. Rose. Pascarelli's a junior. Already some D1s are contacting him, so uh, we expect to maybe see his recruitment get even bigger. And that's another one of the tricky parts of this gym. Russo kind of put his arms like, like, I don't know what I'm going to do here. He hit the stanchion above. So the rejection by the stanchion, and we go the other way. Anthony to Chen, flashes at the foul line. No good, loose ball, Grant. Holy Cross looks to push. Little Euro step, and a blocking foul is called on Anthony. That's his first and the team's fourth. No timeouts here, so the referees clear the huddles. There you see the stanchion. The stanchion is undefeated here at St. Francis Prep. It's the league leader in blocks. First attempt. Front iron, no good by Castro. He's a guy who plays hard, a lot of energy as well, good at getting to the basket, a solid point guard, point guard as well as getting his teammates involved as well. So Castro goes one of two. Anthony for three. Back rim no good. Look at Chen again, skying for the rebound. This kid's just a freshman. There's some solid seniors on this team, and they were honored before this game. But Chen and Anthony, there they do combine for the layup. That's the future for this team. Just freshmen as the lead is up to nine. Castro looked to be a little out of control. Chen picks his hand up for the foul. And it is called 
on him. Both teams at five fouls, so they're both two away from the single bonus. As Castro inbounds to Grant. Puts it on the court, off glass, no good. And we go the other way. It's really something else, too, when you think of Grant. Again, he's going to play football in the defensive secondary at Buffalo. This is not his primary sport, but on a team that's struggling as Chen steps out for three, front rim no good. Killian tracks down the rebound, puts it up. That's off the mark. But Grant is really this team's best player, which is, again, incredible. It speaks to his uber athleticism that he's able to do that as a secondary sport. Castro for three. No good. Chen gets the rebound, hands it off to Pascarelli. In the corner, open shot. Killian misses the mark. Killian only averaging 1.3 points a game, but that's kind of in some limited minutes. Russo back in for Holy Cross, and Michelle back in for the Terriers. Castro has a quick conversation with Grant. Gets the ball. Grant, hands off. Tough shot by Tate Christina, but he is fouled on the way up, so he'll shoot two. Foul was on Michelle, his first and the team's sixth, which sends the senior, Tate Christina, to the line. First free throw rims around. Take Christina averaging 8.5 points a game. Solid player. One of those blue guys who does a little bit of everything. He's an undersized four because of Holy Cross's lack of depth and size as well. Misses both as Anthony comes the other way. Hands off Michelle. Foul line jumper is good. His first bucket of the game. And the lead has ballooned to more than 10. It's 22-11 now for St. Francis Prep. As we approach the midway point of this second quarter. Grant drives. Do we have another charge? We do. Anthony draws it. It is Grant's second foul. And his team's sixth foul. So the next foul for either team will result in the single bonus. Trayvon Shah, the captain for Holy Cross, checks back in. As again, the wet spot underneath there gets taken care of. In the first matchup between these two teams, the Terriers got out to a red-hot start on the road at Holy Cross. They led 24-3 to after one. But after that, and it's something that Ray Cullinan mentioned to his guys it was a fairly even game Holy Cross cut it to 8 at one point nice jumper by Gio Germain his first basket of the game Anthony Michelle same spot same result another foul line jumper for Tyler Michelle But Cullen and said, listen, if we if we have avoid that slow start, and they did, they were only down by six after one, but if we don't allow them to get out to a big lead, we were right in there for three quarters, and in fact got the better of St. Francis Prep for a few of those. Pascarelli's three misses the mark. We go the other way. Five on five. The winner on that one was Pascarelli. We go the other way. Pascarelli attacks the basket. No good, but we'll stay here. Briscoe had flashed out to attempt the three or look for the three. Instead, Pascarelli attacked the basket. Chen sits down. Back in is Battaglia.
I'll tell you, his dad was an incredible football player. Again, I'm dating myself, but he was the class of 91. And when you talk about the Catholic High School Football League, right, the AAA championship, which this year was won by Iona Prep, St. Francis Prep had won three in a row, largely because of Marco Battaglia, who went on and played at Rutgers and then had a, a pretty lengthy NFL career, most of it with the Cincinnati Bengals. So I'm, I didn't get a chance to catch up with him before the game, but I'm very interested to see if he's maybe taking a red eye out to L.A. for the big game on Sunday. First free throw by Anthony was no good. That foul was on Jermaine. His first and the team's second. Anthony goes one of two from the line. Killian is back in for Anthony. As St. Francis Prep's lead is 12. Castro, that's where he's at his best, driving in the lane, but guess what? Another charge. This time, it was Battaglia to draw it. I feel like of the, what are we up to now? 14 fouls? There has to be at least seven that were charges. I mean, it's, it's remarkable. Castro picked up his second. Here's Michelle attacking the glass with his left hand. No good. Jermaine the rebound. Here comes Castro. This time he hands off. They want the extra pass. Castro again. The floater is good. Castro's got three. Pascarelli goes the other way. How about that defense by Castro? An open Anthony though. No good. Battling for the loose ball. Here comes Castro hearing the boos. Russo from the corner, no good. And Michelle looks to push for the Terriers. Tries to hand off in the lane. And guess what? A charge is called. That on Michelle. I'm not sure what the soup of the day is over at Blue Bay Diner. But the call of the day is certainly charge. <laughs> That's what we've seen a lot of in this first half. I tell you, I love the defense by Pascarelli. He is always up in your grill. And he's got that, like, sideshow Bob hair going as well. A buck 44 left in his second quarter. Another wet spot being worked on in that same spot. It is warm in the gym here tonight, that is for sure. A capacity crowd for this latest Battle of the Boulevard. Veer, Anthony. That shot no good. Gets his own miss. How about that hustle by Veer? A kickball is called on Castro. You know, we do a lot of Cardinal Hayes games, and their associate head coach, Tim Philp, has a bruise the size of, like, Kansas on his chest because of Vera Anthony's hustle, where in that game Sunday, dived into the bench, knocked him over. Michelle knocks down that triple. He's got seven in this quarter. And the Terriers are threatening to make this a sizable lead before the break. They're pushing for more. Anthony drives. The scoop layup is good. Five for the freshman. The lead is 15. Final minute of this second quarter. Castro clearly not a fan favorite here at St. Francis Prep. Fouled on his way up by Anthony. Here is again the Terriers pushing it. And yes, we didn't hear the chant yet, but he's a freshman. Veer Anthony, what a play there. He's also called 
for his second foul on the other side of things. And this will send, apparently, public enemy number one, Tyler Castro, to the line. I'm not sure what he did to draw the ire of the St. Francis Prep faithful, but he knocks down the second free throw. One of the fun things about this rivalry, we showed you the, the Google Maps on Francis Lewis Boulevard. There's also a bus route that the Q76 hits both schools. So if you're on that bus early, if you live like in Whitestone and you're a St. Francis Prep guy and you're on that bus with a lot of Holy Cross kids <laughs> and vice versa as well, going the other way. Final 34 seconds of this first half. Stolen by Battaglia. And to end off the glass and in. His dad was known for touchdowns, and that's a layup for Marco Battaglia. In the lane, no good. Battaglia rips down the rebound. Shot clock is off, final 12 minutes. Battaglia steps back, and the Terriers will hold for the last. They'll count them down. Anthony, Michelle for three. Back rim, no good. Doesn't beat the buzzer, but what a great first half for St. Francis Prep. Here you see it again, the Terriers. Getting out in transition, Battaglia finishing, and he helps St. Francis Prep out to a 32-16 to lead. And we are joined now by their head coach, Jimmy Lynch, and uh, Jimmy, it's about 110 degrees here in the gym tonight. It's kind of your typical battle of the boulevard. A little bit frenetic in that I'll first. I'm wearing my Tim Leary sweater. There you, I like it. Doesn't help. I, well, <laughs> it's a good touch, though. But uh, but a frenetic first quarter. It seems like you guys were able to maybe calm down a little bit more in that second quarter. What, what did you like in that first half? I, I think they're trying to confuse us a little bit. They're, they're playing a little bit of a triangle in two. Um, so they threw a gimmick at us, and and some of our guys got to step up, and we're wide open. We got to make shots and. We haven't made those shots, but we're trying to really push the pace on them a little bit. Uh, we've been really good in transition uh, as opposed to when we're slowed down and, and kind of thinking about our shots a little bit. Uh, we'll talk to them at, at halftime about just being shot ready. Friday nights in the Catholic League are, are, are like none other, but when you, when you put two rivals that are separated by about two miles, I guess this is the result. I mean, how special is this atmosphere? Uh, this is amazing, and think about it. Uh, last year, we didn't play a game here uh, because of the pandemic and because of COVID. So to have this many people in the gym right now and to play in front of uh, a great crowd, this is special for our kids, and I'm glad we could do this. And just lastly, Jimmy, what do you want to see from your guys in the second half? Got to make shots. We got to be shot ready. Uh, a couple of our guys are a little bit tentative, and if the shots aren't falling, we got to find other ways to score. We got to get to the foul line. Uh, we haven't really uh, oh rebound. We have an offensive rebound too much, uh, and we could do that. And we got to push pace. Our defense though is spectacular. That, that, that's where we uh, we get all our wins from. All right, Jimmy, I'll let you talk to your guys. Thanks, I appreciate time. it. Thank you. Jimmy Lynch, the head coach of St. Francis Prep. Terriers with a 32-16 to lead here at halftime. We'll take a quick break, and we'll have the principal of St. Francis Prep, Pat McLaughlin, with us when we return right here on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Parents and athletes, why leave your college career in the hands of amateurs? Varsity Media produces professional college recruiting videos that you can use to help land a spot on the team. Our highlight reels have proven to save thousands of dollars in college tuition. You've worked hard and put the effort into your high school athletic career. Don't take any chances when it comes to your future. Varsity Media has been producing college recruiting videos since 2010. We understand what college coaches are looking for, and our attention to detail on your highlights will separate your resume from others. Stand out from the crowd will help showcase your talents. Contact Varsity Media today and order a college recruiting video. Welcome back to St. Francis Prep. Dylan Butler here with you on the Varsity Media Sports Network, and we were honored uh, to have Pat McLaughlin, the principal of St. Francis Prep. You wore a different uh, coat, I think, when I was in school back in 1992, but you've been involved oh, with yeah. the school for 
for quite a few uh, number of years. And uh, I got to tell you, before we even talk basketball, before we talk about other things, just even walking down by the, the old boys' locker room, the hallways are unbelievable. Richie Carroll showed me the, the, the cafeteria. The improvements being made here are stunning. Yeah, we, uh, we put a lot of work into it, and uh, we, we want to present this as uh, one of the finest high schools in New York City right now from an academic point of view and also from a facilities point of view as well. So uh, we've invested in our kids. And we've invested in the building as well. So it's, uh, we're bringing a 1960s building into 2022. That's right, yeah. yeah. So uh, obviously this, we're talking basketball here tonight, and the basketball team's had an unbelievable year, uh, which has a lot of alums pretty excited yeah. about the success. Uh, but obviously it, it's, uh, it's the student-athlete experience for these guys. And, and, and again, I think when you talk academics, which is really a large part of your job certainly, yeah. Uh, unparalleled here at St. Francis Prep. It's always been that way, but obviously it's a it's a huge thing here for for the student athlete. Yeah, we've uh, we've taken pride in the fact that our uh, our kids not only play well on the on the field on the court, uh, but they do well in the classroom, and that's uh, that's evidenced by the amount of scholarship money they get every year, uh, academic money they get every year. Uh, last year, the senior class attained over 170 million dollars in scholarship. And that's student athletes and the rest of the student body as well. So we're expecting the same thing this year as well. And how about too, just the, the legacy of St. Francis Prep in the community in terms of enrollment? You know, it's it's. I think you see a lot like where a parent goes, their kid is going. You know, and and it, and it kind of continues on. It's such a great uh, place to get an education to learn as a as a young adult and grow. Uh, it, it, it's obviously the enrollment as well. Um, yeah, we has always a, been pretty sizable. Yeah, we've uh, we have a great relationship with our alumni, and uh, we see a lot of their children coming back to St. Francis Prep. And uh, one of our slogans, as you know, Dylan, is high school is four years, and St. Francis Prep is forever. And uh, it's really been uh, evidenced by the amount of support we've gotten so far from uh, our alumni, no doubt. Yeah, a guy that was in the class of '91, Marco Battaglia, right? That's kind of proof positive he had an unbelievable career at Rutgers and, and in the NFL and his son here part of this team as well so yeah. his daughter graduated two years ago <laughs> uh, I think she's at Rutgers right now uh, I wonder and, why <laughs> yeah right and Marco's working at Rutgers and yeah. he's here every day for every game so uh, it's been a nice thing to see the the whole family growing up through St. Francis Prep for sure listen I just said to Jimmy the Friday night experience in the Catholic League, well, kind of wherever you go is really special here. It's incredible just because of the size of the gym, yeah. especially on a night like this. But he said, think about this. We didn't have this last year. You know, there was no home Friday night. There was no packed gym. Yeah. Uh, you know, certainly your school, but also the all the Catholic schools really having to battle through the pandemic and, and come out on, on a better side here. Yeah, you know, you, got, you have to give credit to the Catholic schools. You know, we, we stayed open. Uh, last year, we fought through the mandates uh, that were given to us, um, and our uh, kids show that they, they had successful years during the pandemic. This is we're in 23 months right now of mandates and COVID, and uh, by looking around at this crowd right here from Holy Cross and from St. Francis Prep, it's a uh, it's, it really is a great thing to have the kids back in a full time basis, even if we have to wear a mask for the time being. Uh, to have them back and to have them socially interacting with each other uh, in the classroom, on the court, in the stands. So it's, uh, I think we're seeing light at the end of the tunnel. Amen to that. Yeah, so Pat McLaughlin, the principal. Uh, it's usually not a good thing when you speak to the principal uh, at okay, his office. Yeah. I had a few uh, run-ins with my principal then, but, you know, as you mentioned, right, it's uh, St. Francis Rep is forever, and it's always been great to speak with you as well, uh, yeah. Pat, throughout the years, and we, and we thank you as well here for, for tonight uh, for a few minutes. Thank you, Dylan. I appreciate the opportunity. Thank you very much. Good job. Thank you. That's Pat McLaughlin, the principal of St. Francis Prep. We'll take another quick break and we'll give you some first half highlights and stats as well. You're watching this Thank Battle you. of the Boulevard on the Varsity Media Sports Network. St. Francis Prep prepares young men and women for the world of tomorrow by immersing them in the Franciscan tradition's four golden links intellectual, social, spiritual, and physical. Facilities that are second to none. Teachers who instruct and inspire. 
values of peace, love, and respect for the individual, community, and environment. High school is four years. St. Francis Prep is forever. Varsity Media is the tri-state area sports leader. We offer an array of services for any team, coach, player, athletic director, and parent. From game film to live streaming, we are available to cover your event anytime, any place. Looking for an enhanced experience? How about a professional broadcast with multiple camera angles, announcers, graphics, and instant replay? Need a highlight reel? We produce individual highlights for college recruiting and team highlight videos for end of season banquets. And when it comes to social media, nobody has you covered better than us. Hype videos, sideline highlights. We can tailor custom videos to make your team stand out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Why waste your time dealing with anyone else? When it comes to sports video, Varsity Media stands alone. Contact us at 516-403-2050 or online at varsitymedia.net. Parents and athletes, why leave your college career in the hands of amateurs? Varsity Media produces professional college recruiting videos that you can use to help land a spot on the team. Our highlight reels have proven to save thousands of dollars in college tuition. You've worked hard and put the effort into your high school athletic career. Don't take any chances when it comes to your future. Varsity Media has been producing college recruiting videos since 2010. We understand what college coaches are looking for, and our attention to detail on your highlights will separate your resume from others. Stand out from the crowd. We'll help showcase your talents. Contact Varsity Media today and order a college recruiting video. It's time to get hyped with Varsity Media. We offer an array of video services sure to amp up your team. From staged preseason hype videos with custom lighting and smoke machines to sideline highlights of a big game. How can your team stand out from the crowd? Contact Varsity Media today and let us tailor something your squad will never forget. These are the best times of your life. Capture them in the most creative ways possible with the sports leader, Varsity Media. Arjulo, over the middle, he's got a man. It's complete. See you later. See you later. Going long, wide open is Perazzi. He gets it. Perazzi, foot raise, 10, 5. Make it! Touchdown! Punch! Power punch! The trickery rider gets it back, goes over the top for Haberman. What a catch! This Ross Simmons strips him, that's loose, and Ross Simmons is going to take this in the other direction. Make it! Touchdown! Touchdown, East! St. Francis Prep prepares young men and women for the world of tomorrow by immersing them in the Franciscan tradition's four golden links, intellectual, social, spiritual, and physical. Facilities that are second to none. Teachers who instruct and inspire. Values of peace, love, and respect for the individual, community, and environment. High school is four years. St. Francis Prep is forever.
Varsity Media is the tri-state area sports leader. We offer an array of services for any team, coach, player, athletic director, and parent. From game film to live streaming, we are available to cover your event anytime, anyplace. Looking for an enhanced experience? How about a professional broadcast with multiple camera angles, announcers, graphics, and instant replay? Need a highlight reel? We produce individual highlights for college recruiting and team highlight videos for end of season banquets. And when it comes to social media, nobody has you covered better than us. Hype videos, sideline highlights. We can tailor custom videos to make your team stand out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Why waste your time dealing with anyone else? When it comes to sports video, Varsity Media stands alone. Contact us at 516-403-2050 or online at varsitymedia.net. Welcome back to St. Francis Prep. Dylan Butler here with you on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Second half, about a minute or so away after an extended halftime here with all of the extra elements that they have at St. Francis Prep. The dance team and the step team, the cheerleaders all doing their part. It's a 32-16 lead for the Terriers of St. Francis Prep. That guy right there, Anthony Russo, leading the way for Holy Cross with six points on consecutive three-pointers in that first quarter. Russo on limited range, averaging 11.5 points a game for the Knights, who are seeking their first league win of the season here tonight. For St. Francis Prep, it was a balanced scoring effort, also balanced quarter-wise. They had 16 points. In the first quarter, 16 points in the second quarter. As such, they have the lead that they do and leading the way in that first half was Jaden Daughtry with eight points. The senior wing, that's about four points below his average. And also you throw in eight points as well for Latique Briscoe, who was our impact player of the game. Let's take a look at our leaders in the Catholic High School League, a guy that we know pretty well. Ian Jackson, a hair above Devin Grant, averaging 20.5 points a game. Does Captain Jack at Cardinal Hayes, who, by the way, are playing right now on the Varsity Media Sports Network in their rivalry game on a Friday night against uh, St. Raymond's. There's Grant Noah Best from Mount St. Michael, averaging 19.1. Tobey Awaka from Hayes as well, the big man at 19, and there you see Latique Briscoe rounding out the top five at well, averaging 17.4 points a game. So here we go for the second half, and it's Holy Cross with the ball. They had 10, they were only down six, but they were limited to six points in the second quarter, and that's why they've got the deficit that they do, but that's a really nice layup by number 12, Plummer. So Plummer gets Holy Cross off to a solid start. Stepping out for three, rims around and out. Chas chasing down his own rebound was Daughtry. Switches to his left, Daughtry underneath, and he's fouled on his way up. The extra effort by Jaden Daughtry gets him a pair of free throws. Foul was on Plummer, his second and the team's first of the second half. First free throw by Daughtry missed the mark. We want to thank Pat McLaughlin, the principal of St. Francis Prep, for joining us at halftime. Second free throw is good. If you were an alum like I am and you haven't had a chance to come back, well, it is, you, you'll know the address. It's the same place it was, but a vastly different looking school than it was even five years ago, 10 years ago. There's a three point shot, and that's good. Take Christina. That's a big bucket for the visitors from Holy Cross. Anthony attacks the hole. No good. 
Grant rips it down, but Anthony comes from behind to chase it away. Briscoe up and under. Nice fake jumper for Briscoe. And he extends the St. Francis Prep lead to 35 to 21. There is Russo. That's what he does best. His third triple of this game. Michelle looks to respond. Side of the rim, no good. Anthony rips down the rebound, pulls it back out to reset. Hands off. Michelle says, I'm going to try that again. And this time he buries it. Michelle's second three-pointer of the game. He's got 10 now. And Daughtry hands off to the freshman point guard. Veer Anthony gets it right back. That three rims out. You heard Jimmy Lynch talk about the offensive rebound. There's been a few. There's another. Daughtry the putback. Clearly the message by Lynch of attacking the offensive glass was heard well in the locker room. 40 to 24, the lead for St. Francis Prep. There is Castro, and again, hears it from the crowd here at St. Francis Prep. Grant gets the loose ball, rejected inside by Daughtry. We go the other way. Another throw down? No, this one is a little bit. More of a layup by Pascarelli, who threw it down for his only two points in that second quarter. He's got four, and the lead back up to 42-28. Russo hands off to Grant. It's number one on number one. Briscoe on Grant. Grant steps back. That was a deep two. No foul and no basket. Here comes Briscoe. Showtime! Briscoe with the dunk. Excites this capacity crowd at St. Francis Prep. Look at it again. With Grant down, Briscoe is open. And then he flushes it down with the hammer of a right hand. Extends the lead out to 20 as Holy Cross calls a timeout. conversation on the Holy Cross bench and again this is tough for them as well they had two potential starters who transferred out in September they had some tough losses early on where they had a lead but they just couldn't hold on to those leads and Ray Cullinan says look there is no easy games in the Catholic League and then also what struggle what caused the struggle for Holy Cross is they had a three week stretch in December where they could not practice or play and their biggest struggle, which we're seeing here tonight, is the inability to finish. They are struggling scoring the ball. It's also a team that's largely new to playing in these varsity environments. Only one kid had any meaningful varsity minutes coming into this season. A different story for the Terriers. Where again, Briscoe, Daughtry, Morish, they were all on that freshman team a few years ago that won 20 games made the city semifinals and kind of really became that nucleus that core that helped lead this team to this success grant draws a double goes inside gets his own put back and he finishes it's been a tough night offensively for devin grant he's not alone there for holy cross for grant that's his fourth point as Anthony runs the show. Michelle from that same spot. He has found his sweet spot. Michelle buries another three. His third of the game, 13. Now he gets the steal. Briscoe ahead of the field. But look at that. Another interception by Devin Grant. Veer Anthony says, I got one for you. And Anthony gets the uncontested layup. Seven for him. Pump fake in the lane. 
nothing doing. Daughtry tries to get it ahead of the field for Briscoe, but it goes out of bounds. It'll be Holy Cross ball. And again, Castro hearing it. There's been a lot of Castros <laughs> throughout the years. Sylvan Landisberg back in the day, Mr. Basketball in New York. There's Russo from the other side of Francis Lewis Boulevard. He dialed up that triple from the Blue Bay Diner. Daughtry the other way, no good. Grant the rebound. Here comes Russo in transition. Stops and doesn't pop that time. In and out goes that three attempt. Daughtry switches to his right. The lefty inside the lane, no good. And again, a little helter-skelter we go here. Back and forth we go. Pascarelli, Anthony up and under. Pascarelli, the putback. And you can see the difference between these two teams. Even when it gets a little bit crazy for St. Francis Prep, they're still able to finish inside. Grant misses his three. Pascarelli to an open Daughtry. 6-6, six, six, attacks. Kicks it back out for Briscoe. Back iron, no good. And now the Knights will try to push. A bit of a track meet here. Foul line jumper and a tough one by Tate Christina. He has seven. But it is a 20-point lead for St. Francis Prep. Final 90 seconds of this third quarter. Daughtry high arcing three. No good. There's another offensive rebound and put back. Two more for Pascarelli. Ahead of the field, though, is Plummer for two. Briscoe intercepted by Castro. Spins on Anthony. Attacks the basket and the foul. How about that finish? Watch it again. As he hears the booze, Castro attacks the basket, gets fouled on the way up, and he finishes well. The foul was the third on Daughtry. And Castro completes the three-point play. Minute left here, third quarter. St. Francis Prep, a fairly comfortable lead, but there is no such thing, especially in this rivalry. Chen sheds his block, but we go the other way. Russo hands off to Grant. Look out, Grant, the finish! And again, maybe a little fortunate to not get the tech. Thought he might have hung on to the rim a little bit. Anthony responds from outside. Top of the key, three for Veer Anthony. He's now in double figures at 10. We spoke about the athleticism of Grant. Watch him just sort of get beat. Chen picks him up or doesn't pick him up late. And that's all Grant needs to attack the basket with ferocity. Shot clock is off, so the Terriers can hold for the last shot of this third quarter. It's Veer Anthony. Has the stop sign by Jimmy Lynch. Now it's go. Anthony for three. No good. Michelle tries to get the rebound, but it will go out of bounds. Eight minutes left in regulation, and St. Francis prep with a comfortable 18-point lead. You're watching this Battle of the Boulevard right here on the Varsity Media Sports Network. 
over the middle. He's got a man. It's complete. See you Lino. See you later. Going long. Wide open is Perazzi. He gets it. Perazzi. Foot raise. Ten. Five. Make it. Touchdown. Punch. Power punch. Rickery, Ryder gets it back, goes over the top for Haberman. What a catch! Just Ross Simmons strips him, that's loose, and Ross Simmons is gonna take this in the other direction. Bank it! Touchdown! Touchdown, East! Welcome back to St. Francis Prep. Dylan Butler here with you on the Varsity Media Sports Network. So thankful you were able to join us here on a Friday night in the Catholic High School League. There is nothing like it in the Tri-State. A special atmosphere, and uh, we're happy to bring you all the sights and sounds of this one as well. St. Francis Prep jumped out to a 16-10 lead. It's a lead that has gone up to 18 as we enter this fourth and final quarter. There's Anthony at the top of the key. Michelle from the other side, the same result. Another three, the fourth in this game for Tyler Michelle. What a game he has had. Attacking was Travis Castro. Again, no relation. As St. Francis Prep, they'll be in no hurry here. Chen steps out, buries it. How Chen, his first basket of the game is from beyond the arc. And again, just a freshman. The future is bright, but also it's all about now for St. Francis Prep. It's been a few years for the Terriers to be within this conversation as attacking the glass was Grant, and he was fouled on the putback attempt. You go back to 1997. It was the last time St. Francis Prep played in the championship game. It was a loss in the AA championship game to LaSalle. Leading LaSalle that day and throughout the season was a guy named Ron Artest. Maybe you know him as Meta World Peace. Went on to St. John's, NBA, obviously as well. 1992, a good year. As you've seen on a graphic, that's the year I graduated St. Francis Prep. The Terriers won the A championship, a lower level championship. Jason Feely leading the way then. And this is remarkable. You have to go back to 1957. That's right, 5-7, when the school was located in Brooklyn when they last won the double-A championship. It was the third straight title as a 30-second timeout was called for St. Francis Prep. Tom Stith was the leader that year for the Terriers, but that's the last time that they won a triple-A championship, 1957. They are very much in the conversation now this year. We showed you the standings before. St. Francis Prep 16 and 2, 12 and 1. So very much the top seed in Brooklyn Queens, double A. When you look at the other side, it's Hayes and Stepanak tied atop the Archdiocese. St. Francis Prep still has to go to Stepanak. That should be an unbelievable game. Likely another sellout up there in White Plains. But then it's the postseason. It starts with the conference tournaments, if you will, like the Big East or the Big Ten. You've got the Archdiocese and the Brooklyn Queens, largely for seeding purposes. Second free throw is good by Grant, who's now got eight, well below his average. And you know that was part of the conversation. Here comes Grant again. Open court. Another dunk for Devin Grant. Well, maybe he'll heat up here in the fourth quarter. Veer Anthony attacks, loses it on his way up. So Grant coming in, averaging 20 points a game, and again, in transition, active hands. 
And look at the burst to the basket. And Grant will not be denied. Gets it right back. And again, he's right about at half his average for the year. Number two in New York City's Catholic League in scoring to Ian Jackson. Jackson on the court tonight for Cardinal Hayes at John Duffy Court. And another game you could watch on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Our own John Perez on the call for that one. Briscoe ahead of the field for two more. He has 14 and the ball. And again, this kind of frenetic pace as Anthony looks to be a little bit hobbled. The Terriers looking to take some of that air out of the ball now. They're not in a hurry to score it. Anthony, though, dials up the triple. He has 13. As Grant hands off. Trying the backdoor cut there was Travis Castro. We go the other way. Oh, alley -oop. Oh, Pascarelli. Back iron. Can't finish it. That would have brought the house down. Briscoe pulls up. Baseline. No good. Pascarelli hands it back out to Anthony. And a timeout is called. And you got to think this timeout by Jimmy Lynch maybe is to say, hey, guys, let's settle down on the showtime right now. You want to win this game. You don't want to give Holy Cross a chance to get back. You mentioned the upcoming schedule for St. Francis Prep. A couple of non-league games where probably you get to use the length of your bench. Epic South and then Bryant out of the PSAL. And then that big final game of the regular season on Tuesday night out at Stepanak. A big game. You could argue maybe a championship game preview. Of course, Cardinal Hayes will have something to say about that as well. And then Holy Cross ends their regular season at home on Tuesday night against Bishop Lachlan. Second horn as the teams will hit the court. Jesse Killian is back in for St. Francis Prep. And likely we'll see as Vera Anthony goes to the bench some of those seniors coming back in as well. Look at that layup. And again, Daughtry with the length and the strength. Finishes inside. He's got 13. And it's been about balanced scoring, not just tonight, but throughout the year. Castro is fouled on his way up. It was to Daughtry. But Daughtry's got 13. Briscoe's got 14. And Michelle right now, the high man for St. Francis Prep with 16. That's the fourth foul on Daughtry. And Castro to the line misses the first. And again, you go throughout the years. Holy Cross, they were champions in 2008. Winning double A led by Silvis Land Sylvan Landisberg, who was Mr. New York basketball, went on to play at Virginia and had a lengthy professional career overseas. The all-time leading scorer at Holy Cross. Good hustle there by Killian. And he will go to the line to shoot two. But then he, you know, other names, Willie Dersh in 1996. He was a big part of this rivalry. Drew Samuels on this side. Mike Cavateo. Brian Geffen. 
all these guys played their own roles in this battle of the boulevard. Tom Collision comes in for the first time. Second free throw by Killian is good. 71-42, the lead for St. Francis Prep. Castro hands off to Russo. To Collision. Gets it right back to Castro. Drives on the left. Off glass, no good. But a foul was called underneath on Michelle. It is his second, or excuse me, his third, and the team's fourth, which will send Castro to the line for two more free throws. Missed his last two. First one is good. Michelle goes to the bench. Second is good by Castro. Midway through this fourth quarter. Anthony's back in, hands off. Nice bounce pass. And Briscoe just missed that opportunity to finish. We go the other way, one on three. That layup attempt no good. Collision gets the rebound, but it goes to Daughtry. Daughtry hands off to Battaglia and up top to Briscoe. Via Anthony. Lynch said, I didn't expect to have a freshman come in and take over for us like he's done, but he has been our quarterback. He also plays with a heavy heart. Lost his grandfather, didn't play against Christ the King, so... Our condolences to Veer and his family on their loss. That likely does it for Veer Anthony as Buchanan, one of the seniors being honored here today, comes back in for the Terriers. Buchanan, that high character kid that you always need in the locker room as Bruce is fouled. Foul was on Briscoe, his second. And the team's fifth. And there's Bruce. Bruce was likely going to be the point guard had Castro not been able to play. Up the court we go. Killian has the ability and the finish. Hey, Jesse can throw down. Much to the delight of this capacity crowd. It's filtered out a little bit because some of the Holy Cross contingent looking to hit Francis Lewis Boulevard a little bit early. Attacking the glass was Killian, and the ball was and still is stuck there. Here is that dunk. Again, out in transition, and Killian throws it down. Listen, Jimmy Lynch said he has highlight real dunks. He can add that one to his list. And the Terriers still playing D. Briscoe ahead of the field. Another dunk. He has 16. The Terriers lead is 75-44. Here you go again. Briscoe's like, hey, Jesse, I saw you. I'm going to raise you one. What a night it has been for St. Francis Prep. And not that necessarily Jimmy Lynch wondered because the team has been laser focused throughout the year, but this was an opportunity to bounce back from a loss, which again, really hasn't happened this year, right? I mean, only two losses on the year. 
but they're coming off that defeat to Christ the King in the midweek. So I think a pretty good response for St. Francis Prep, which has emptied its bench as well. A high arcing three is good by Travis Castro. But Taglia tries to go baseline. That's taken away. And here comes Bruce. Another high arcing three is good. Holy Cross heating up, but a little bit late. That's Jermaine with the triple. The lead is 25 inside the final two minutes. Looking foul line was Malik Smart. Out to Nolan Raymond. Raymond, a sophomore averaging 1.6 points per game. And now I think this should be the last guy on the bench, certainly eligible to play. It's Caleb Phillips, number 31. So good job by Lynch getting playing time for everyone, which again is not an easy thing to do. Buchanan misses the three. Loose ball in the paint. Look at Battaglia, the extra effort. It will go to Holy Cross, but you'll love the effort by a senior in Battaglia, even though his team's up 25 with a minute left, hustling back on defense. Oh! The bank is open. Sam Parada. I think that's now Webster Bank down on Francis Lewis Boulevard. Stepping back is Battaglia. Back iron, no good. Put back attempt. Another miss there. And we go the other way. Ahead of the field is Collision. And the layup is good. Two more for Travis Castro. He's got five. Final 24 seconds. Shot clock is off. So the Terriers can, if they choose, not even put up a shot. And it looks like that's going to be the decision by Battaglia. On senior night, the game ends with the ball in the hands of one of those honored before the start of the game. Marco Battaglia with the ball in his hand, lets it go, and that's the final buzzer. 75-55 is the win for St. Francis Prep. The Terriers improve to 17-2, 13-1 in Brooklyn Queens AA. Holy Cross falls to 4-17, 0-15 in Brooklyn Queens AA. We'll take a quick break. We'll have our player of the game interview when, we're, when we return. You're watching the Battle of the Boulevard on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Parents and athletes, why leave your college career in the hands of amateurs? Varsity Media produces professional college recruiting videos that you can use to help land a spot on the team. Our highlight reels have proven to save thousands of dollars in college tuition. You've worked hard and put the effort into your high school athletic career. Don't take any chances when it comes to your future. Varsity Media has been producing college recruiting videos since 2010. We understand what college coaches are looking for, and our attention to detail on your highlights will separate your resume from others. Stand out from the crowd will help showcase your talents. Contact Varsity Media today and order a college recruiting video. St. Francis Prep prepares young men and women for the world of tomorrow by immersing them in the Franciscan tradition's four golden links, intellectual, social, spiritual, and physical. Facilities that are second to none. Teachers who instruct and inspire. Values of peace, love, and respect for the individual, community, and environment. High school is four years. St. Francis Prep is forever. Welcome back to St. Francis Prep. Dylan Butler here 
a 75-55 win for the Terriers and leading the way for them tonight as has been the case for much of the year. Latik Briscoe, our varsity media player of the game. Uh, Latik, congratulations on, on the win. Uh, an unbelievable atmosphere. Friday night Catholic League with Battle of the Boulevard is something special and, and you put your imprint here on this latest chapter. Uh, yeah, I appreciate you. Um, senior night, Battle of the Boulevard, we had to make a we had to put on a show for the for the crowd, and um, they tried to throw some gimmicks at us, but the rest of our teammates stepped up, and we got the win. I'm not sure if it was part of the conversation leading in, but the year that you guys are having, it's not like you've had to bounce back from losses, really, right? There's mm -hmm. only two on the year, but you come off a loss to Christ the King, off an emotional win over Cardinal Hayes. How important was it tonight in a rivalry game to get that response? Today was a must win. Uh, we were a little shorthanded against King, and so we had to make sure we came back. Got the job done at home. You finished up with uh, 16, uh, a dunk there late as well that it got this capacity crowd grow going. Uh, but again, it's a balanced effort tonight as it's been really throughout the year. You know, Jaden had a big game as well. Tyler mm. knocked down some big threes. Obviously, you're missing, you know, one of your leaders as well. He stepped on the court in, uh, in chance. Maura, she's still banged up. But uh, this balanced effort, how big has that been for you guys during this run? It's it's been beautiful. Like we run, we play a team basketball. Everybody gets involved, it's, and then we lost a huge piece in chance. But it's next man up mentality. So everybody just does the job, and we get the job done. I know your answer is going to be it's it's one game at a time. But the alums, the school, there's a buzz, man. Like you guys, it's been a long time for St. Francis Prep to be in the conversation among the elite in the mm -hmm. Catholic League. You guys did that certainly with that win against Cardinal Hayes. Um, you're going down the stretch of the regular season, a big one at Stepanak, obviously after a few non-league games. Uh, what do you think, kind of, as uh, of this group as you as you head towards the postseason? Uh, this group is a is, is is a great group. We got this team together sophomore year, uh, but we lost a year to COVID. But everybody's doing what they're supposed to, and now we just got a playoffs is coming up, so we just got to lock in. Like this, like this win is great. But we got more big games coming up, so we just got to stay focused. On to the next. On to the next. <laughs> Latique Briscoe, thank you so much for, for joining us. Congratulations on the win, and we wish you the best of luck going forward as well. All right, thank you. Thank you for having me. All right, that's our varsity media player of the game, Latique Briscoe. Uh, a big game for him as well. 16 to help lead the way. Tyler Michelle also with 16 for the Terriers as well. Vera Anthony with 13. And uh, a really balanced effort by the Terriers here tonight as well. Jaden Daughtry ended up with 13 as well. So again, the Terriers improved to 17-2 overall. 13-1 in Brooklyn Queens AA. Holy Cross Falls to 4-17 and 0-15. And oh and For the entire staff here at Varsity Media, I'm Dylan Butler thanking you for joining us. We look forward to seeing you next time right here on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Varsity Media is the tri-state area sports leader. We offer an array of services for any team, coach, player, athletic director, and parent. From game film to live streaming, we are available to cover your event anytime, anyplace. Looking for an enhanced experience? How about a professional broadcast with multiple camera angles, announcers, graphics, and instant replay? Need a highlight reel? We produce individual highlights for college recruiting and team highlight videos for end of season banquets. And when it comes to social media, nobody has you covered better than us. Hype videos, sideline highlights. We can tailor custom videos to make your team stand out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Why waste your time dealing with anyone else? When it comes to sports video, Varsity Media stands alone. Contact us at 516-403-2050 or online at varsitymedia.net. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York high school sports.